What was your favorite school lunch? If you, mm. you know, when you when you went to the, did you get like a packed lunch or were you a cafeteria or canteen kind of person? When I was younger, I got like a packed lunch, but then when I was older, I would get the cafeteria lunch. Mm -hmm. And I liked, so we would have um, like a shitty chicken burger, which was good, which was just like a chicken patty on bread. Oh, that sounds amazing. And then um, we had the best school lunch we had was teriyaki beef nuggets with rice. Oh, that sounds amazing. That was our best one. What'd you guys have? We had like really thick base like crust pizza, but it wasn't mm. like it wasn't like deep dish. It was just like there was more bread than anything. Um, mm -hmm. They also had like really good hot dogs, but they were more like regular sausage kind of caliber. They weren't really hot dog. It's like just a sausage, and they were pretty legit. Um, burgers with more gristle than anything. Yeah. So it's like all lots of the lumpy hardness. Jeez, everything we had was like frozen and then they would eat up, of course. Oh yeah. I mean, I assume it was all frozen. Sometimes you did get like a cottage pie, which is like a... It's like... Mm. Like a lasagna. The mashed potatoes and stuff? Yeah, and it's got like a layer of mash, mashed potato on top. And that was pretty good. I like that. Um, but yeah, for the most part it was like reheated shit. Yeah. Which is what you'd expect. Or, yeah, I'd have, like, maybe a sandwich. But I remember being very disorganised, as I still am, and never never getting up in time to, like, make lunch. Was it all smashed, do you think, in, in lunch? In, like, school lunches? Do you not think they made real mashed potato? Ooh. I think it was just, like, instant mash. Yeah, it must have been. And, like, they wouldn't let you off for, like, you know, dinner ladies would never be like, oh, it's not your 5p short, don't worry. They were they were a little bit, like, fascist like that. They oh, wanted, they were. They wanted, like, the full amount of money, and it's like, are you kidding me? Like, it's 5, you know, like, 5p. But, you know, they, 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 wouldn't, they wouldn't let you off 5p. Well, it's because they were working on a commission, as you know. <laughs> You've, you've only sold 20 hot dogs today. What's yeah. going on? They had to make sure. No, f no, you, you can starve as far as I'm concerned, you little shit. Yeah, they've got to oh. bring home money to their family. I remember as well, like, we used to have tuck shops. <laughs> yeah, my, our money goes directly to the dinner ladies. Um, I remember... Like, we had tuck shops as well, where you just get, like, the branded sweets and chocolate. And then they had to get rid of them because apparently they're not healthy or something. But it's yeah. like, that's what I look forward to, going on my lunch break and getting a, getting a Kinder Bueno. A Flake 99. Oh, like a, yeah, a Flake. Is that what it's called? Flake 99. The, 90, the 99 aspect is within the, the ice cream. Okay. So that's... That's when the 99 enters the arena. <laughs> is when it's, for some reason, in a in an ice cream. Yeah. I think it's because it used to cost 99p. Just like a Freddo, right? Freddo used to cost 10p. Really? How much yeah. are they now? Are they 99 now? They're like 25p, I think. I see. I don't know. I don't know how much. I, don't, I have not. I've not checked the price of Freddo. I thought that was how you can tell, like, inflation. Mm -hmm. The economy. Yeah. Are they forty p now? Jesus! Somebody price check fucking Freddo. Yeah, Please. let us know. Have you had a Freddo boba? I think I have. Yeah. Yeah, they're all right. He's just a regular <laughs> chocolate boy, right? Regular chocolate. Yeah, he is. He's a regular chocolate man. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty time. I like Buenos the best. That's my favorite. Oh, Bueno. Bueno is just so good. Oh, uh, they are 25p, 26p on Tesco's site. Damn, Tesco. 
What do you think about Tesco? What you playing at Tesco? See, I shop at a big Tesco. Oh yeah. Do you, um, do you like it? <laughs> do you well, like we have it? Walmart, so oh, yeah. it's like basically like the same, right? Yeah, I think I think Walmart owns ASDA. Oh, is it ASDA? Okay. Yeah, because there's a big one where I live, and it's it's actually like oh, it's a Walmart branded ASDA, but it's nothing really Americanized about it. It's just massive. It's just huge. Um, it's cool. But I, I'm not a huge fan of Tesco. Sorry, Tesco. Yeah. Where do you like to shop? My favourite. I'm a Sainsbury's boy. I like to feel really? like I'm posho. Yeah. Or okay, like a bit of Lidl. Okay. A little bit of Lidl or a bit of Sainsbury's. Okay. You... I don't know if I've been in a Sainsbury's. Oh. We need to get to a Sainsbury's. <laughs> like, yeah. next, time I, next time I'm down in Bristol gonna be like yeah but we're going on a trip to a Sainsbury's and we're gonna go we're gonna go to the cafe and we're gonna order a, a cup of tea and although Morrison's Morrison's calf they're great get yourself a steak sandwich covered in gravy oh my god that's, a, that's good shit right there that looks terrifying whatever I just as the not that... Walmart anymore <laughs> What's happening to this radio? Why is it just like... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I tried to fix the bullet on the wall. Oh don't, no. Don't show Tilleron. Oh no. Did it burn? Did it burn all the wall? Yeah. <laughs> it sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I just knocked over a bucket. It's fine. It's oh, fine. I didn't do that. Bucket. I see. Bucket. But yeah, I, I, I'd really like to go to the US just to see like your supermarkets. It's like when you go on holiday to a, um, I don't know, to another country, and you get to go into their fun like Spanish supermarkets. I really like seeing what what stuffs in supermarkets. I'm kind of sad though. That's like my that's my excitement. I mean, that's the good bit because then there's like all this different stuff. So like, yeah. Florida has Publix, which is the best grocery store in the world. What's what's so great about it? Tell the me. people that work there get paid a pretty good wage, more so <laughs> than regular grocery store workers. Mm -hmm. So. They're in a little bit of a better disposition. Right. Because they're not... They're Being, not like, entirely exploited. miserable. Yeah. yeah. H-E-B good. is also a good one. I've went, I've went there in Texas before. In a Texas. Publix is great, though. Because they do... They have a deli, of course. Whoever this fetus looking is. They have a deli, and then at the deli you can go and get, like, a... A sub sandwich, so like you would get from a subway. Oh. But Nothing. it's so much better than Subway. So the famous thing, they're called pub subs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the best pub sub that you can get is the chicken tenders pub sub. Oh. So it's like a Subway bread baguette thing, right? Yeah. And then it is tendies in it. It's tendies in bread, and then you get whatever kind of cheese you want, whatever kind of sauce, and whatever kind of veggies and all of that that you want. So, sometimes, too, you can ask them to toss the chicken fingers and stuff. So you can mm -hmm. get, like, a buffalo-tossed chicken fingers sandwich. And the bread oh is good, God. and it's nice and soft, and it's oh. very delicious. That sounds so good. Mm hmm? But see, they're missing a trick here. We used to we used to get Quiznos in. Mm. Now I don't know if Quiznos still exist in the U.S. I think there are some in the far reaches of United States. Mm -hmm. We used to have one in Milton Keynes, and it was my favorite place to get a sandwich. It was really yeah. good. It was fucking expensive though for. Like a, a sub, it was maybe like six or seven pounds. 
and you know just for a year like sandwich that maybe this was back in 2003 that was quite expensive but I'd, I'd have one again you know if I had the option I'd definitely get a Quiznos but we we are be lack we do be lacking in a lot of food stuffs in the yeah. UK I think there's 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 plenty of potential see I'm happy to have had a Yorkshire is that do you just say Yorkshire or do you say the whole word Yorkshire pudding you need a yeah it's a whole word Yorkshire it's <laughs> Yorkshire pudding I like I've had, I've had a lovely Yorkshire, Yorkshire before <laughs> is that just like a dude would I just be saying I've sampled the dude from you, Yorkshire you probably, if I yeah said you've had a northern man <laughs> But yeah, you, <laughs> Yorkshire puddings are fucking excellent. They're they are. They're so good. I also have my first... Uh, I've had a crumpet recently. That was oh. pretty good. What about... What else do we have here that's not the usual? Um, hmm. I can't really think of, like, a good... A, I mean, I guess... I don't really know. There aren't really... Tatty scone? I've not even had a tatty scone. What the hell is <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a myth. I think it's something that no one's ever made me one, nor have I ever seen one on a menu. Mm hmm Eccles cake. Eccles cake are kind of like, in my opinion, shit biscuits. Okay. But somebody will be shouting at me in chat right now. They'll be like, no, they're not. That's me favourite. Oh, I love, I love a fucking Eccles. Yeah, Alex is now very angry with me. Look, Alex, they're shit. They're rock hard. They're not great. Eccles cake are for old people. They are. I, d I don't for know. For old people. I don't think they're that good. It's like eating mess is a shit dessert. It's I just... would never eat a mess. <laughs> Why eat one when you can be one? Yeah. And that should have been their well, I guess that would not work for their tagline because it's literally <laughs> do not eat it. <laughs> do not eat this. Just look at it. But eat a mess is terrible because it's just fucking meringue and cream. And that's it. It's like, well, that's not pretty good dessert, is it? And I've heard I've heard loads of good things about I say loads of good things. I I've studied like the Cheesecake Factory yeah. menu before because I for some reason want to go I've and... studied it. I was, you're so funny. I really want to go. I love looking at menus and like seeing what my choices are. It's like playing GeoGuessr as well and sometimes you find you find like a restaurant and you get to look at their menu because it's in good enough resolution where you can see what they do. And... You should look at um there's a chain of restaurants in Florida called Metro Diner. Metro and I would Diner. I would be interested to see what you would choose from there. Oh, I'm gonna find it right now. I need to Do look it. at the Metro Diner menu. It'll be like a green, maybe like a green and tan one. Metro Diner. They've got a few of them all over Florida. They have things such as cinnamon roll pancakes, Thanksgiving oh. stuffing waffle, it which is amazing. seasonal. The, the Thanksgiving one won't be on there, but that is a... Uh, like a Belgian waffle made of stuffing and then it has mash on top of it turkey gravy and cranberry sauce on the side oh my god I mean even this this is like the first thing I've stumbled upon by opening their menu is loads of fried chicken yeah with waffle ice cream I See, mean they do so they do the chicken and the fried chicken and waffles, and you get a whole fried chicken, and then you get a whole waffle. And then the thing that looks like ice cream is actually a strawberry butter. What? Mm hmm And then you get a bowl of maple syrup that you can dip the chicken and the waffle into. Oh, I see that. Oh my it's god. It's very good. Dipping chicken oh. into... See, I love sweet stuff on chicken. So if I have chicken, I I do like the maple syrup on it, or like honey, or any of that stuff. Mm, I'm I'm not a huge fan of mixing my sweet and savouries, but I would 100% mm. uh, try that. That just looks incredible. That fried chicken looks great. 
Oh, what we got? Starters. Onion rings. Mmm. Oh my god, 880 calories. Yes, For... the plates at this place are... Are they big? They are huge plates. Like, that's a starter. That's a starter. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, let's see. Dinner favourites. Fried chicken and waffle. Tell me the calories, you cowards. They don't want you to know. <laughs> fried chicken plate. Half fried chicken. Creamy mashed potatoes. Oh, with a rich brown gravy. Steamed green beans and our signature sweet and spicy sauce. That sounds mm. incredible. Oh my god, there is pictures. There's pictures as well. They do look like big old plates. Let's see how many onion rings you get. That's not that many onion rings for 880 calories. Not enough. That, not looks, enough. That, that looks good. The fried chicken plate I'm into. What's the Charleston shrimps and grits? Now, I really want to try Ooh. grits. Like, it's one thing I, I need to try. Two fried grit cakes in infused with cheese, roasted red peppers, mm -hmm. and dwell what's an andouille sausage? That is like intestine sausage, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a shit so sausage. So like um So it's like uh the ground up intestines, I think, because andouille is intestine. Oh French. Andouille. Grits are like porridge but made of cornmeal. Oh, okay. Top with shrimp sausage, onions, and peppers in a shrimp sauce, garnished with chopped bacon and green onions. Mm. It looks delicious. They are pretty good. Duckers has asked me if I've tried a place called Mother Clucker because I have one in Milton Keynes. I haven't. Oh my I, gosh! I keep seeing this place. I'm gonna have. We'll order some from there. Um, what is this? Iron City Meatloaf, our famous griddle seared meatloaf with rich brown gravy, creamy mashed potatoes. Um, loaf. And steam green bin. Looks dry, but it but it's tasty. Fish and chips. <laughs> oh yeah, we try. It looks it we looks alright. It looks alright. I'm I could say that looks like a, a commendable effort on fish and chips. I but... don't think we even do like vinegar on ours, as far as I know. Hmm, the the chips are a little bit thin, but I I'd still have it. Chicken tender plate. Looks fucking excellent. Chicken mm. pot pie. Looks, well, though it's just a stew with a lid, but it looks fucking great. Uh, do you not have chicken pot pie here? We do, but we... It is like a pie situation. Yeah, they, you get them in pubs and it's like chicken pie. <laughs> but... I love a good pie situation. <laughs> Usually, I'd say a proper pie has the sides and the bottom. It's it's encased fully in pastry. Mm. Where, where okay. when you get that pie and it's just a lid mm. it's not it's just a lid but it's still good beef tips look great Yum. I feel so are you still cleaning and I'm looking at menu <laughs> I did but I think I don't know if we got it all or not we're close just, enough you could just say we did it and see what the score they give us yeah I've liked listening to you admire the menu oh my gosh that looks delicious as well. Seasoned and slow cooked with tender carrots, celery, and onions in our rich brown gravy of, over creamy mashed potato. What is pot roast though? What meat is it? Pot roast is usually like a beef. Oh. But it's, it's like, like just... um, you know how you can get that beef where if you cook it really slow, it's like mm -hmm. strands, but not like not like hair or something. Beef from roast says some. Like a very tender. Beef. Yeah. Or. Oh. That's good. Fall apart kind. You should do a stream where your chat and your community put together like a bunch of menus from places they like. Mm -hmm. And you can go on a tour and just look at all the different menus and stuff. And then also look at the restaurant from the outside and like the area. I was going to say, this is like been a, a real i never would have known that a place specifically to florida existed called metro diner mm -hmm. that's i mean the food looks incredible i'd eat all of it there's nothing on here that i wouldn't eat wonder if there's anything else because we do that's a lot of oz's geo guesser streams to be honest it is, is that much. what happens <laughs> yeah, pretty much yeah I'm, well this is what happened at chuck e cheese i was like i need to find where mm. all these 
it's weird because they're always in a lot of them are in strip malls. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And it was like really weird. Like there's a like a casino next to a Chuck E. Cheese, and then there's like a gun shop. <laughs> and yep. It's like what is this? 